Hey guys, I'm Ray, and Jason is over there. He's working. Say hi. Hi. So I figured I would take you guys along on a journey today that I have not been looking forward to. We have a long overdue chore that needs to be done. I've mainly been avoiding it simply because I didn't really know how to fix it and the fixes that I read online I was just nervous to try. I know it sounds silly but anyway today we will be defrosting our freezer and boy does it need it. <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to show it to you, <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see how thick this ice is. It's so thick that this tool that I use for our ice cream maker is stuck in it. So yeah, that's the current sitch. We've lost like three or four inches of freezer space and that obviously means our freezer is not at optimal performance right now when it has all of that ice buildup in there. So how are we going to tackle this? Well, when you look up how to defrost an RV freezer online, there are two main answers that come up. One is to use a blow dryer. Uh, originally I thought, okay, I could do that. It seems simple enough. And then when I researched that a little bit more, it seems like a ton of people do it and it is a good method for your freezer and your fridge. But then on the other hand, there are a ton of people who do not recommend that method because they say that you can actually Actually, you know melt the plastic pieces inside if you're not paying attention you can also damage the fridge or the freezer if you heat up the coils that are in there so it sounded like that wasn't the path I really wanted to go down so then the second option was to simply just put a bowl of hot boiling water in the freezer and close it and let the ice melt and some people said this takes 20 to 30 minutes so that sounded more up my alley so I do have a pot of what was boiling water I turned it off right before I started filming and then a old towel to put at the bottom because people said obviously this can get messy so you want to make sure that your water the water that's melting is not getting everywhere. I will be putting a towel at the bottom and then I will be putting a bowl of hot water in the freezer and we are just gonna kind of go through this together. Let's get going. Oh, one thing I almost forgot. A lot of people said they just take the pot and they put it straight in the freezer and close it. I'm not gonna do that because I am scared of the bottom of the pot melting the plastic in there as well so I'm going to transfer it to another container. We also have these plastic scrapers that were originally purchased to clean grills and what was that thing? Oh your cast iron pan. That's right Jason has an obsession with a cast iron pan. Have we used it once in the last year? It's none of your business. Anyway we have the cleaning tools for them, so they've never been used. So I figured this could help in just getting some of the initial ice layers off. Once we get closer to the back, I don't want to, you know, be scraping around too much in there. And then to wrap it all up, I did buy, I should probably find that. I did buy a, a super thin piece of plastic that a lot of people were recommending. And then you can put that on the back of your freezer so then the next time you have to do this, instead of having to take the time to heat the water, put it in there, wait, clean up the melt, you can actually just peel this plastic off and it breaks off all the buildup and then you just kind of sweep that out. So that looked a lot easier. So we'll be putting that plastic in together as well. Okay, I think that's it. Now let's get started. I did forget another thing. We're turning off the fridge in this process. I did clean out all the freezer food. I put it on a shelf in the fridge. I'm not gonna open the fridge. It should be fine for 15 to 20 minutes. So yeah, turning off the fridge. All right, 
Uh, let's set a timer for, I don't know, 15 minutes. I am also going to use this opportunity to clean our shelves that are in there. They're not horrible, but they could use a cleaning and this is a perfect opportunity to do that. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. I started another pot of water just in case. So let's take a peek. It seems to have softened the original, or like the start of it. It's not going fast enough for me now. <laughs> I think it's time to use these. I'm gonna do a scraping. This is definitely boiling. And then I'll do hot water again. How's that sound? Okay, a PSA, don't wait a year to do this. This wouldn't be so hard if I wasn't carving out Mount Everest. I can make a whole snowman out of everything in here. Okay, round two of the hot water. Gonna fill those bowls again, hopefully melt some more ice. All right, update time. Jason helped get huge chunks of the ice out once he saw me in Struggle City over here. So he came over and he literally just like was able to rip huge chunks off. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> so I exaggerated when I said they were like four inches thick. It's closer to two and a half. <laughs> but seriously, look at this. We have a whole sink full. Anyway, we were able to get a big portion out and then we put, I put two more bowls of hot water in again. And so this is our current situation. Okay, another big chunk fell off. So that's great. And so we got all of the ice on the top portion off and we still have the middle section and the bottom. The bottom wasn't that bad anyway. That's what I was hacking away at earlier. That's kind of melting off itself. Oh, oh cool. This whole chunk is gonna come out. Okay, ready, ready. Oh, <laughs> oh this is still hot, ah! This one's not hot. Oh, cool. Okay. So this took two rounds of two bowls full of boiling water sitting in there for 15 minutes each. So the first time it was really hard. Obviously you could see it was struggle city for me. And when Jason was getting in there, peeling it off, he was able to get it between the first chunk of ice and pop off a huge section of the top. And then he couldn't get it in between the wall and the ice anymore. So that's why we did the second round of hot water, which as you saw, completely loosened the rest of it. So again, don't let your freezers get this bad. This is a little ridiculous. This is one year on the road and we've never defrosted it. So don't judge us. I know that's bad, but it was something I was really dreading. 
and I legitimately forgot what the back of our freezer looked like and anytime you look up how to defrost an RV freezer it's always the strips of metal and so the thought of hitting that with a blow dryer or messing it up somehow really freaked me out because our fridge and freezer even though we're kind of abusing it does a really good job at keeping our food cold and we actually have to keep it on a setting of five because when we had it at a higher setting it was actually freezing our vegetables that were in the fridge so I know a lot of people complain that an RV freezer and fridge doesn't keep their stuff cold but ours is legit we love it so I was really scared of messing with it and ruining it so now that that little rant is out of the way all of the ice is out I found what I was talking about earlier. So it's really just a plastic shelf liner. Uh, that's what some people recommend to put on the back. So then next time we can literally just peel the ice off and we won't wait this long because this is ridiculous. I'm going to time lapse cleaning out the rest of the freezer and putting this on. guys so I trimmed this I put one piece on the bottom and then I actually only put one piece on the back so it doesn't cover the entire surface area so it ends right here and it starts right here so we actually just want to see if this will even work because I don't know if it will or not the actual recommended product were those flimsy cutting boards that you can take camping and they're like almost disposable <laughs> cutting boards. But that's the product that other people were using to put on the back so that way you could just peel this super flimsy cutting board off. So I thought this might be a little bit better than that. We will see. I will keep you updated on how this works. I do want to ask our other RVers out there how they prevent this buildup. So now that I've read more about it, it's really something that should be in your routine maintenance to clean out the frost in your freezer or your fridge. Our fridge doesn't have any buildup, which is awesome, but the freezer obviously was awful. So I really want to know what products do you recommend to help this from happening or you know slow it down is there a product i can put in here that helps absorb some of the moisture i guess i could throw a baking soda in here but i always thought that was for smell and not frost anyway let me know in the comments down below i really really appreciate your thoughts and of course don't forget to like this video it really does help our channel out and if you haven't yet please subscribe because we would love to have you in our getaway gang all right guys we'll see you next time bye I want to help. I want to do it. I just don't. I'm just not camera ready. Okay. Well then let me... Oh! <laughs> Get out. How's your pocket? Let me see. It's just That's a... good. Okay. It's a fake pocket. Yeah. What? It actually drives me crazy that it doesn't line up. I don't really have that many bloopers. I feel like I should do something. Hello, my darling. Hello, my baby. Hello, my Valentine. Okay. <laughs> Were those even the right lyrics? I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Well, I tried. <laughs>